had a feeling we might be seeing you guys here. Yeah, what's, uh, what's going on? All of Ian Devlin's files were brought to the conference room. I'm thinking Spinelli's handiwork. <laughs> that kid is good. So I'm guessing you're looking for Ian's accomplice and Michael Shelley. I'm a little confused. Why, why are you guys interested in Ian's files? Uh, this is Patrick's project. I'm just here for backup. Ian was a friend of mine. We went to med school together. I was thrilled when he came to work here at General Hospital. Then I found out he was a drug dealer, among other things. He was a very good liar. He had the entire staff fooled. I was stunned when I found out he was responsible for Michael's shooting. And now I guess I'm figuring out that I'm not over it. So I want the truth out there. All of it, and I want whoever's involved brought to justice. I guess what he's saying is that we're all looking for the same thing here. And Ian, he could have written notes about what he was doing inside the patient files, right? Yeah, but it, isn't it a little risky for the two of you to be digging through sealed medical files without patient or family consent? It's sort of a breach of medical ethics. As no? doctors in this hospital, we're allowed to look through files. It's only legal if you guys do it. Also, we know what should and shouldn't be in the files, so we can save you a lot of time. If anyone else is involved in Michael's shooting, I want it known. I want it out in the open. All of it. to thank you again for clearing my name with Brianna Hughes' murder. Oh, well, you're welcome. I'm actually just relieved that everything turned out the way it did, even if Andrea had to die. May she rest in peace. Hateful woman that she is. Oh. Needless to say, your instincts are very good, so if you ever decide medicine's not for you, I think you have another call on you. You could be a private detective. You know, I actually had a lot of fun piecing everything together. And it was quite fulfilling that I helped solve the case. You know, it's nice that with a crime, there's an answer to be found. With medical research, it can be quite the opposite. True. So I noticed Sam coming out of the uh, office with you. Were you working on some sort of case together? We're going through files on Ian Devlin, um, looking for a possible accomplice in Michael's shooting. So what do you think about focusing on files that have already been closed? I think that's a good idea. A one-time incident won't be looked at as often. That's an uh, MRI. We transfer all those to DVD. Hmm. Uh, are you sure that you want to get involved in this? I feel like I owe it to Michael. If I was paying more attention to you, maybe I could have helped prevent some of this. And I realize that it's a little late now, but if we find an accomplice and bring him to Mac, maybe we can get him prosecuted. I realize it's probably not your standing operating procedure to bring an accomplice in Michael's shooting to the police. You probably want him dead like Ian. I didn't murder Ian. He had a knife to Maxie, so I really didn't have a choice. I believe you, Jason. But at the same time, you still got your revenge. Just a bigger question is, is you know, what did it prove? What does killing anyone ever prove? Shoot, that's an emergency. I'm gonna have to take this. I'll be back. Hi, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, what, what do you need? I understand you're searching for an accomplice to Michael's shooting. I'm not here to interfere, I promise. I, I, you do what you do, it's your prerogative. I have a favor, actually. Do you think there's any way you could possibly do this without involving Sam? Sam makes her own choices. Jason, I know that, but is, is it fair to put her in a situation that makes her an accessory to murder? that list Ian Devlin as an attending physician 
And because he shot Michael, it follows that you're looking for an accomplice, and when you find him, you'll kill him. That's speculation. He's spoken like a real lawyer, which isn't surprising considering how much time you spend with defense counsel. Can you just leave this alone, Alexis? No, I can't, Jason. I really can't. Because if Sam helps you with this, knowing as she must that you intend to kill this person, that makes her an accessory to murder. She will be aiding in tracking down someone you plan to kill. Okay, if you have a problem with Sam, you need to speak with Sam. We both know how much she cares about you. Well, I care about her. More importantly, I know how much you care about her, so please, please just leave her out of this. This Okay, uh, black, no sugar, just the way you like it. As opposed to my delicious latte. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. Now that I'm fortified, where do we start with the files? Okay, before we go any further, um, I just thought you should know that Alexis was here. And she did bring something up that I hadn't fully considered. You know what I'm going to do about Claudia if I get the proof that she got Michael shot. And that could make you an accessory. Hey, Sam, if something goes wrong, you could be facing murder charges with me. Maybe I want to help you find out the truth about Claudia. Okay, as long as you understand the risks that you're taking. Yeah, I am clear on what you do. I don't have a problem with that. I trust you and your instincts, okay, what, Jason. What, what if my instincts are wrong this time? What if Claudia really is innocent and I hate her so much that I can't even see it? I mean, Michael woke up from a coma. I could let that be enough. I don't have to track down Devlin's accomplice. No, you don't have to, but you want to uncover the truth about Michael for his sake, so justice will be served, and I am choosing to help you do that. We're more than halfway through. Aren't you glad to stay? Yes, I am. <laughs> well, let's have that. A lesson to be learned. Never listen to my mother. Uh, I try not to. Yeah, I'm, sometimes I do too, but I know she means well. I mean, we pretty much are on different planets in the way we think, what we do, how we act. I mean, to be honest with you, she thinks my work as a PI is too risky, and she also thinks being with you is even riskier. Well, there are things that I do that are my responsibility and no one else's. And there are things that I can't involve anyone else in, even you. Okay, I mean, in, in other words, if Claudia dies, you want it to be on you and nobody else. <sighs> Jason... I haven't really thought about what happens to Claudia. I've just been focused on finding Ian's accomplice. Well, wait a minute. What? Here's a date. March 28, 2008. March 28, 2008. April 4th is when Michael got shot, so that, that that's the right time frame. Jason, this could be the proof that Claudia got Michael shot. Claudia, let's see what Devlin thought was so important about March 28th, 2008. Looks like it's encrypted. And no, it's demanding a security code. Okay, does this, this have a program on this computer? Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure he does, but if I go in it and it's not the actual code, it's going to erase everything. Okay, just don't worry about it then. Spinelli, look, uh, we need your help, so get back to the penthouse as soon as you can, okay? Jason, Devlin was involved in a lot of illegal stuff. What if this has nothing to do with Michael's shooting? Well, it could be the proof that I need to finally take Claudia down. Since the jackal was pulled from service to humanity at the I Participate campaign, yeah, sure helping great, to recreate I'm, our it's city. It's a great program. You can get back to it as soon as you tell me what's on this disc. Well, then I shall toil with speed and efficiency. Ooh, this encryption code is indeed state of the art. I mean, it's child's play for me, of course, but someone took great care to shield this data. How long is it going to take to break through? Done.
Why should I take the risk? He's a major player. If it goes wrong, I'm a dead man. What kind of compensation? Fine, but I want guarantees. That's it. That, that's the deal to shoot Sonny. How can you be sure? Pull up the, the, the other voice, the person he's talking to. It's got to be Claudia. 